Hello everyone. So today I am here and you know my name. I am Mrs. Chetna. So today Chetna ma'am is here with a very important and new topic and it's interesting as well. That is seat dispersal. In our last class, what we all have studied? We have studied about fertilization in plants. Yes. And today I am going to tell you that what are the post fertilization changes in plants. I need to say, I just want to explain you that after fertilization process, what all changes takes place in plants, okay? We have already studied the four parts of flower, right? And or we can say the four worlds of flower that is calyx, corolla, androsium and gynesium, right? If you haven't seen my previous video, just you can see my video on flower and you will be aware of the parts of flower. Okay. Now, after fertilization, what all happens? Okay. First, I will tell the stamen which we have studied as a male part and along with the stamen, petals, that is the colored part of the flower. Okay. The stamens, the petals, the color part of the flower this time, okay, these all wither or fall off. Ye sare fertilization ke baad sukh jate hain or fall off, gir jate hain, okay. Now, when we are talking about uh, calyx or we can say sepals together, right. So, calyx, it may be intact. Ye ya to usi mein attach, intact hota hai, ya fir it will fall off. Dry hoke and it fall off. Iska do fate hota hai after fertilization. I am talking to you about sepals. Now, coming to ovule. Ovule develops into seeds. Ovule becomes seed. Ovule kya ban jata hai? Seeds ban jata hai. Okay? And after that, jo dispersal process hota hai, which I am going to explain you in today's session. Coming to the uh, ovary part. Okay? Ovary enlarges to become fruit. Yes, the ovary enlarges to become fruit. And ovarian wall becomes the fruit wall. It can be fleshy or it can be dry. Again, I am telling you, if we are, um, we want to know about the post-fertilization changes. Let me tell you that whenever we are talking about fertilization, after fertilization, जो भी changes, events होते हैं, उनको हम बोलते हैं post fertilization changes. उसमें क्या क्या है? The first I told you that stamen, the style and the petals, that is corolla, these all wither, okay? Wither सूख जाते हैं and then it fall off, right? When we are talking about calyx or we can say sepals, right? Either it remains intact or it will be dried and fall off. Iska do fate hota hai. I am talking about sepals. When we are talking about ovule, ovule becomes seeds, right? And ovary enlarges and becomes fruits. Now see this picture. The post fertilization changes, right? Very good. Now, now my dear children, for search of job or for search of earning, People migrate to the big places like Delhi, like Mumbai, etc. Okay, just I will compare it with the seeds. So just listen to me. It is very interesting and then you can correlate it practically and then you will understand the concept. Okay, the people in search of jobs, in search of earning the comfortable life, they uh, so they uh, travel to the big places, big cities like Delhi or Mumbai, okay? And what all are required to live a comfortable life? Yes, you should have proper space, the fresh air, right? You should have the um, good uh, like surroundings, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes, you are perfectly correct. But my dear children, jab itne sare log ek jaga a jate, for example, if I am talking about Delhi or I am talking about Mumbai, to wo place, that place will be overcrowded, right? Wo overcrowded ho jayega, to fir there will be lack of space, 
मोर कंजेशन ट्रैफिक्स होंगे और आपको बहुत डिफिकल्ट हो जाएगा रहना तो इस केस में क्या करते हैं लोग इस केस में द पीपल लिव अवे फ्रॉम द सिटी लाइक दे इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डेली दे स्टार्टेड लिविंग आउटसाइड ऑफ द सिटी लाइक गुड़गांव ओके और वी कैन से द्वारका राइट नोएडा that is the ncr part when we are talking about mumbai mumbai is also very crowded to look comfortable rehne ke liye ghar kaha banayenge they will live they started uh, they started making their houses in uh, navi mumbai right yes likewise when we are talking about seeds agar parent plant jo hai wahan pe sare seeds if it will fall there only to they will be crowded and what all are required for a seed to grow uh, proper growth of a plant yes soil water proper air okay and sunlight these all um, things are required for the proper growth of a plant from seed okay so but plants are not motile it will not, it cannot move from one place to another so there must be some process by which the seed will travel from one place to um, the other place or we can say the movement of seed will take place from the parent's plant where they will get the sufficient uh, space to grow sunlight air and also the fertile soil yes yes my dear children so here we come to the main point that is the need for the dispersal of seed that is seed dispersal and as i told you whenever we are starting any topic we should know the literal meaning for the same this person what is this is spreading from one place to another when we are talking about this person of seed what is that so it is the movement of seeds movement of seeds away from parent plants with the help of agents right the movement of seeds away from parent plants with the help of agents and what are these agents wind water animals and birds apart from the agents there is one more method by which the seed can be dispersed and that is explosion which we will be reading today itself and this is called seed dispersal now there are two ways by which seed can be dispersed there are two way ways by which seeds can be dispersed and i have just jotted down on the board through the agents okay which we will be uh, studying today only and by the process known as explosion okay now coming to the agents part the first agent for seed dispersal is wind and i have told you before also whenever we are talking about agents it is very important for any processes where the agents are required they are actually the medium jaise ki for transport we need various means of transport uh, various means to trans travel right like it can be the land transport it can be the air transport right likewise when we are talking about agents for seed dispersal it is also the medium now we are talking about wind dispersal of seed through wind the first example is cotton look at this picture cotton yes and it is light in weight so it can just disperse or move by the help of wind coming to the second dandelion or see this picture can you see this picture and correlate to something you can see dandelion seed is there then the upper part it is the hill like structure can you guess something yes and you are absolutely correct when we see uh, like uh, people flying with the help of parachutes right the upper part we can compare with the hair like a structure of dandelion see the picture yes and the lower seed part we can just compare it with the uh, people who all are flying with the help of parachutes okay yes coming to maple seed look at this picture okay can you see the wings are there in the maple seed wings yes and if we compare it with the aeroplane yes so because of that only these uh, the maple seeds can be dispersed by wind okay or we can say the dispersal of seed of maple seeds through wind takes place 
Now coming to the second agent that is water. It is very practical and it is very natural. Bitta, I will just tell you all, don't mug up everything, don't learn everything. Just try to understand and then you will never forget. Now coming to water, okay? The agent, the second agent is water. So it means the seed dispersal through water. Can you think upon it? Like what type of seeds will be there which can be dispersed through water? The plants which will grow in water or near water body can only be uh, there only with the chances to disperse by the help of water, isn't it? It is very practical. Jovi plant or jovi tree, jo ki pani me ho ya fir pani ke pas ho, right? Or unke jo seeds hote hain, wo float kar sakte hain, or wo isi ke tuara wo travel kar sakte hain, move kar sakte. It is very practical. Okay. Now we will see how. Now first we are seeing about the coconut. The coconut tree. Look at this picture. It has fibrous seed which can float in the water. So dispersal of this coconut can take place through water. When we are talking about water lily and lotus. Yes. Now look at this picture. Water lily and lotus. It has a small. The fruit has a small hollow space which enable them to float on the water. So through water, these seeds can be dispersed. Now coming to animals, okay, how the seed dispersal through animals takes place. Now there is one plant known as xanthium. Look at this picture. You can see it over there. The hook-like structure is there. Yes. So these hook-like structure will stick to the a furry animal, the body of the furry animal and by that only it will disperse, okay, move, the seed will move. So you can see this picture of the xanthia, yes, now coming to the birds, the dispersal of seed through birds and how is it possible? In few cases, like uh, there is uh, the pulpy fruit like guava, it has the hard seed, look at this structure, yes, so but the seed is very hard so it cannot be digested by uh, birds then what will happen now the birds will eat those fruit along with the seeds and through the drooping will pass out those seeds right again i'm repeating the fruit like guava has hard seed now the birds will eat the fruit along with the seed which the seeds cannot be digested, right? Because it is very hard. Then the bird will pass those, pass out those seeds through dropping. Like this, the dispersal of seed through birds takes place. Now coming to explosion. Explosion. Yes. And explosion is actually bursting. And what is this process? How the dispersal? We have already completed about the agents, how the seed dispersal takes place through agents. Now we are seeing how the seed dispersal will take place through explosion. Explosion is actually bursting. On ripening, on ripening, what the seeds, the seeds come out, okay? Wo burst out, explode karta hai bahar, okay? Aur wo crack open ho jata hai. On ripening, the uh, fruits, yes, on ripening what happens, it will crack open and seeds will be scattered and will be thrown out. Yes. So, explosion se kya hota hai? Ki wo crack open ho jata hai aur wo scattered ho jate hai seeds. Jiske karan through that, it, the dispersal of seed will take place. You can see this picture. Yes, about the explosion, you can see the example also. There are various ex examples for the, ex the seed dispersal through explosion. And what are these examples? These examples are pea, balsam, lady's finger, beans, etc. So today what we all have studied, we have studied about the post-fertilization events. Right? After fertilizations, the parts of the flower ka kya kya hota hai? What all, uh, uh, what all are the results after the fertilization? Kya hota hai? Parts of flower ka. Then we have seen about the seed dispersal and why it is needed. Right? So you can just see this picture where I have written down about the seed dispersal. Right? About the agents. Okay? And also about the explosion. 
yes so you can take this screenshot and in my next session now i will be starting about reproduction in animals we have already done with the reproduction in plants and now we are going to start with reproduction in animals just to stay connected keep supporting and do not forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel learning science with shape bye bye my dear children